I heard he sang a good song I heard he had a star And so I came to see him To listen for a while And there he was, this young boy A stranger to my eyes Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly I was born in Los Angeles, but I grew up in, in Geneva, Switzerland. My father actually invented some textured paint for the outside of houses and uh, it moved us to, um, to Geneva for what we thought was going to be a year, and it wound up being like 10 years. I was put into a French-speaking school, and I was the only kid in the school that spoke English, the only kid also who was Jewish, so it was a very lonely experience for me and I started to turn to writing in my diaries and poetry and uh, and trying to connect somehow and to find my identity in this other world you know I didn't know anyone who even played the guitar in fact when I got my first guitar I didn't even know how to play it so I was playing it this way and couldn't figure out how the chords were <laughs> so um, but early on I was listening to um, uh, Dionne Warwick and uh, some French singers, um, jean Hallyday, Sylvie Vartin, uh, Françoise Hardy. But when my sister went to college in Maine, uh, she left us and she came back with some albums for the first time and they changed my life. They were Joni Mitchell and Tom Rush, Peter, Paul and Mary, um, even Janis Joplin and The Holding Company. And for the first time, I listened to Bob Dylan, and then my my world completely changed. You know, then it became yeah, you know, it became. It ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. It don't matter anyhow. It ain't no use to sit. And At the break of dawn. And I started to write songs for the first time on the guitar. Really bad songs, but it was a new expression for me and it just changed my life. When I came out to LA, I became a part of the West Coast music scene. It was the club scene along with uh, Jackson Brown, the Eagles, Bonnie Raitt, Wendy Waldman, and I toured with Randy Newman and Leonard Cohen and Billy Joel. Uh, it was it was an interesting world for me to be a part of. It was like a circuit, like we would do a club and then the next one would come in and we'd shake hands as I was leaving and hello and it was a lot of, uh, it was interesting being in that world. At the same time I was very protected because I had managers who were controlling, I was a part of Capitol Records and I had a whole, that whole machinery that actually Joni Mitchell talks about. I was a part of this whole star maker machinery, agents and phone calls and, and schedules. I was very young and again coming from Switzerland I felt like uh, this was a whole new world for me. There is a song that um, I haven't sung for a little while but is a very personal song um, and, um, and it's a uh, it's actually about my life as a young singer, and I think that a lot of young artists can probably relate to, to this. It's about a young singer being, uh, it's a recipe for manipulation, how, and it's called a cup of girl, so. Take a cup of girl, share a tablespoon of world. For some color, don't forget parental strife. Add an ounce of opportunity, 
and a touch of promiscuity. Let her simmer gently on an open fire and watch her rise. Then you scrape away integrity and you meddle with her sanity. When you bring her to a boil, lower the flame. Then you mix two parts absurdity with one part ingenuity. It's a tried and trusted foolproof recipe for a singer who can't speak. Then I came to Holland and toured with uh, Dimitri van Toren and a little-known uh, side man named Henny Vrinten, who uh, has now become so so well known. He's uh, a part. Uh, he was a part of a, of a group called Dumar. But coming back to the Netherlands was a, a very important time for me. Uh, I did it last year on a big tour. Started releasing albums here and found that a fan base that I had had early on was still here, so it meant so much. I even wrote a song actually on my new album called Netherlands. Um, the last time I saw you was so long ago. Dozens of highways, hundreds of roads, hotels, motels, houses and homes The last time I saw you shine so bright Kept me awake night after night I tried to forget you but looks like I lost that fight So greetings Netherlands It's so good to see you again A lifetime ago is like a minute or so Forever Netherlands Well the last time I saw you was in 75 Vietnam ended so many lives And I was just a girl with stars in her eyes Back to LA was my destiny Two sons and a daughter, life was complete but there was something missing in me oh, 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 oh. So goodbye, Netherlands Coming back, it just means so much to me and with the release of this, uh, of this new record, which is, which is right here. <laughs> this is it. Me in better days against a blue wall. Um, it gave way to a lot of personal writing. For the first time, I, I was able to speak out about some things that I hadn't been able to talk about. I was able to write so quickly, and, uh, and the very first song was If Not Now. And my feeling was, well, if I'm not gonna, if I'm not gonna talk about the things, if, I, if I'm, when am I gonna stop being afraid? When am I gonna start having some courage? And if not now, when? So this song, if not now, when, led to so many other other songs. The title song, which is called Bend Like Steel, I have a tendency in my own life sometimes to be very rigid. This is right and this is wrong. And being flexible is something that uh, I'm working very hard to be. And I think in life, that's what you have to be. You can either, and you have a choice. And so that's what this first song, uh, bend like steel is and it's um it doesn't take much it never did i could trace it back to when i was just a kid i could walk around with a paper bag over my head they never noticed it they never noticed it It doesn't take much Now that I'm older still The slightest disregard Could set me tumbling down that hill It doesn't take much for me To feel the way I feel 
like oxygen, like a mountaintop that's hidden in the fog, invisible, like a ghost that lives inside a wall. Look at these two hands, look at these strong legs. I got this free will, and I got this choice to make. I can run or I can kneel, I can hide or I can feel. I can figure out what's real or bend like steel or bend like steel. Every song that I wrote in this album has a bit of a question and an answer. You know, I'm still learning, I'm still doing, I'm still writing, I'm still changing. And my goal is to be, um, you know, is to take everything in, to remain so grateful and so humble by everything that's happened in my life, to learn from my past experiences, to be able to communicate to people and hopefully give them some hope that, you know, you can change. A person can change and learn. Yeah, it's an interesting time in my life right now because I found that I still have uh, a fan base, a nice fan base who's interested in, in what I have to say. When I think about my present writing, I, I feel like I I feel like I have so much more to say. You know, I've just come out with this record and of course I'm I'm right in the middle of, of thinking about these particular songs, but I have so many ideas for what I wanna do. You know, I wanna uh, people I wanna work with, um, and uh, and and things that I wanna say. I do um, definitely see myself uh, continuing to write, continuing to put out um, albums that are from my heart, and uh, just continue on touring next year. So we'll see what the future brings. Or bend like steel. Given in to live a life inside this shell. Look at these two hands, look at these strong legs. I got this free will, and I got this love to make. I can run or I can kneel, I can hide. I can deal, cut the edge and 